Hello, Sandman. My name is Ainsley Reed. And I'm Melissa Moss. Did you know that they are attempting to measure Mount Everest again? It's been almost 70 years since the last measurement. A lot has happened since then. Could it be that Mount Everest isn't the tallest mountain in the world anymore? Maybe. Did you hear about the Nepal earthquake in 2015? It supposedly shrunk Mount Everest. The first measurement is known to be 29,029 feet tall, so I'm curious to see what the measurement is now. And did you know that there are almost 300 dead bodies buried on Mount Everest? This proves how treasure it is. Climber and measure of his team, Kim LaGuadam, actually got frostbite and another teammate almost died. Yeah, that's pretty tragic. Today, Ella Beersback will be interviewing Roger Bilham, who is running this project of measuring Mount Everest, said this is the most exact measurement ever made. Now, now to you, Ella. Ella. <laughs> it sure is cold up here. Thank you, Angelie and Melissa. Now, I've been wondering, how do you measure the mountain, Roger? The team will measure the mountain in two ways. First, using math, and then using a satellite that will take pictures and find out the measurements of Mount Everest. That's fascinating. Do you know what the total cost will be to complete this project? It'll cost a total of $1.3 million. Wow, so much money, but this could be a huge turning point. Do you know how long it will take? It'll take two years. We hope to be finished by the beginning of 2020. Why are you measuring the mountain? Well, since we believe it shrunk during the earthquake of 2015, we decided to see if this was true or false. All right, those are all the questions we have left for Roger. Back to the studio. Wow, that's interesting. Well, that's all for Global News. See you later, Sam Man. Hey, Sam Man. This is SCNN Local News Edition. Today's story is really going to hook you in. Seems fishy to me. All right, that's enough fish puns. Let's scale back. I bet you thought fishing was a warm weather activity. I sure did, but turns out people are still on the water making catches. Let's get our let's get your fish on with some local aquatic anglers. Ahoy matey! Despite the nasty weather this past week, people have been out. Yeah, we're flopping like a fish out of water over here. Let's cast out the big nets and reel in the news on the fi on fish. Striped bass are few and far between, but the season will be here soon. Remember, you can only take home two stripers, one between 28 and 43 inches, and a second greater than 43 inches. So, you may be asking yourself, what have been people catching? Well, with weather, weather like this, we've seen a lot of blackfish keepers, which isn't a pretty fish, but they taste delicious. We're getting our fish facts from local captains who have been reeling in fish from between the beaches to three miles out. If you can't get out on a boat, try one of the many local many ponds or, or lakes that have been recently been stocked with rainbow trout. Like the Ponder Lodge. Looks like we're going to need a bigger boat. Wow, thanks Trinity and Harry. Thanks for tuning in to SCNN Local News. Bye, Sandman. Hello, Sandman. I'm Jacob, and this is Skyrim. You may have heard Principal Cathcart talking about tolerance as our newest character trait here at Salmon, and we think we have found a great book to show the importance of tolerance. Not everyone has much in common. But we are better together. High five! That's right. To book we are going to be sharing with you today is called the wall in the middle of the book. Look, see if you can see how this book teaches. Tolerance. There's a wall in the middle of the book. 
then it's a good thing. The wall protects this side of the book from the other side of the book. This side of the book is safe. The other side is not. But the most dangerous thing on the other side of the book is the ogre. If the ogre ever caught me, he would eat me up. That, that's why I'm glad there is a wall in the middle of the book and that I'm on this side of it. Wait a second, what's going on? This is not supposed to happen on this side of the wall. Wow, thank you so much. Oh no. I'm on the other side of the book, and you are the ogre who's gonna eat me up. Ha 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 ha. I'm actually a nice ogre, and this is the side of the book is fantastic. Come on, I'll show you around. Hey ogre, wait for me. This was a great choice. I think this book teaches tolerance because if the knight had just been has just ignored or been tolerant of the ogre and the animals, he wouldn't have found himself in trouble with the water rising. I agree, Robert. Off to you, Carl. Wow, that was a great book. Thank you, Skylar and Jacob. Why don't you all grab a Chromebook and take an AR test to get your points for the next incentive. Speaking of the incentive, do you know what the next reading incentive is, Gabe? Yes, actually I do. Why don't you tell us about it? Drum roll, please. The next time there is an amazing band called Legacy. The lead singer, Candace, came to this very school called Salmon, which kind of makes her Salmon's Legacy. That sounds so cool. Yes, it is. And you only need 25 AR points for the marking period. So get your points fast, and I hope I'll see you there. Only 25 points? Yes, and there are two concerts, one for fifth grade and one exclusive concert for sixth grade. Thank you, Gabe. Now let's move on to EJ and Michaela talking about the Sandman Student of the Month Club and how students who display all of these great character traits we are practicing in here in school get special privileges and recon recognition. Ha have a great day. day. Hope to see you at the concert. concert. But, but first, here's a little taste of what you're working, working for. for. Thank you, Gabe and Kyra. The Student of the Month Club is for students that have been hardworking and positive role models to their peers. Mr. Cathcart picks those students to recognize them as students we can all count on to do the right thing. It is an honor to be chosen for this club as you receive special privileges, including breakfasts and lunches with the principal. Wow, that sure sounds awesome. I wish I was in Student of the Month Club. The students who have been inducted into the Student of the Month Club this year are Grace Watson, Deacon Falshaw, Rebecca Bobick, Peyton Leibarger, Wyatt Brandenburg, and Johnny Montgomery. Students who are still in the club but were added last year are Dejan Blackman, Osvaldo Perez, Ella Osmondson, Holly O'Neill, Jake Heron, Nora Schaffler, Alex Akella, and Riley Degman. They sure are all lucky. They get all the fun. And now let's talk about the founder of the Student of the Month Club, Principal Cathcart himself. So, Mr. Cathcart, how did you come up with the idea on Student of the Month Club? Well, when I began here about five years ago, it didn't take long to realize that we had a lot of amazing students here. So I wanted to reward them with something. And I didn't just want to reward them once that month. I wanted to reward them for the remainder of their time here. So that's where I came up with the Student of the Month Club. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Cathcart. You're welcome. Well, I don't know about you, but I'd like to learn more about these character traits. For example, tolerance, so that I can try to get into the Student of the Month Club. Well, you can show tolerance by ignoring others' behaviors that might find annoying. You never know what someone else might be going through and try to practice patience and treat everyone with kindness. Yeah, that's a fantastic way to explain it. 